Let's get into frame here. Okay, we are filming. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to this channel. Uh, I don't know if I've changed the name of it yet. If I have, it's not iTurbo5 anymore. What are you even talking about? Okay. Today... <laughs> Today, uh, I'm gonna be discussing or having a little story time uh, with you all, uh, whoever cares to listen. This is the story of my bad experience at a job interview. Uh, not even the job itself, not even the application. Uh, it was just a job interview that went AWOL. And I'm gonna be discussing why it was the most awkward and weird, one of the most awkward and weird experiences of my entire life. So. Let me give you a little backstory, give you a little backdrop of what is going on in this, like, world. So, basically, I get approached by somebody, uh, by somebody's mom that I know, and she was like, there's a place about 20 minutes away from where you live, and they're looking for people, and, you know, you should apply. And I was like, okay, let me see what it is. I'm not gonna, obviously, say the name of the place, because I don't want, I'm not gonna just expose them like that, but I went to their Facebook page, and it looked pretty cool. It, it was like a little, it was like a little ice cream shop. They made milkshakes and sandwiches. It was cool. It was like for a little for a little resort and it was like a welcome center and that's where I would be working. So I sent them a message on Facebook the next day saying I would be interested in a job interview. Um, is there any application that I need to send in? They were like, no, we'll take you in for an interview right away. Uh, when's best for you? So I went in on a Thursday. The Thursday rolled around. I was freaked out because I've only been to one other job interview in my life. It went really well. It was funny, actually. And I got the job. I quit the job later on. At this point in time, I didn't have a job. So I was like, let's go and get one. So I did. I went to the interview. I made it on time, actually five minutes early. I recommend that. I got there 15 minutes early, but I sat in the parking lot for like five minutes. So I got out, went inside, and there they were. Let me just set this up for you. They were there already at the table just waiting. The woman had her legs crossed. She was like this. And the guy, it was a man and a woman, husband and wife, and they were sitting there, both of them just gathered around the table and their dog came up to me. They had a dog in the place, which was really cool. It was very, it was very homely, the greeting that I got. So the dog ran over, I pet him. I was like, oh, what's his name? And they said it, it was like Benjamin or something. I don't really know, I don't care. And then I sat down, I was like, I'm here for the interview. And they said, yes, uh, take a seat. And so I sat down and this is when things got weird. It was right out the gate. Not really right out the gate, but she looked me in the eyes and was like, tell me a little bit about yourself. I was like, I'm 17 years old. I believe I was 17. Yeah, I just turned 17. I was like, I'm 17 years old. I'm just now looking for a job, you know, I have something to do before I go off to college, which is in a couple years. I was like, I'm really especially looking for something to do over the summer. I'm a senior in high school or going to be a senior in high school. I don't know. I just gave them a little spill about myself. I told them I work for an event planning company at this point where I worked for them. I posted things on Facebook and Instagram for them as well as worked the events. So it wasn't really at a job that I had consistently. I just kind of did it whenever it was work to do, but I really feel, I really decked it out like I had like a lot of experience doing whatever I was doing, which I didn't. But yeah, I, I gave them that spill. So they went right into it. They were like, we're looking for somebody that can talk to people. I can do that. And basically, the place that I was applying to, the actual resort, was mostly like wedding venues. They were like, this is the place that the spouse and whatever come before they get married. They check in here, their entire family checks in right here. So you need to be kind as possible as, and I was like, I, of course, I completely understand that. I can provide that for you. I've had a lot of experience with talking to people at the event planning business, which I really didn't. I don't really talk to people whenever somebody comes up to me and asks me uh, a question that I, that I know or don't know. I send them to Brandon, uh, the guy that knows everything. So, but I knew I could do it. So I said I could do it. This is when things go off the zoinker. I repeat, this is when things went off the deep end. Like, oh my goodness. The, like you jump off into a cavern, into a valley. This is how far off the deep end it went. They sit down and they point to the wall. They point to the wall. They're like, do you see that right there? That's a Bible verse. It's John 3, 16. And they read it off to me. And I was like, okay. I, at this point, I didn't know what it had to do with the job at all. I had no clue what was going on. They read me the Bible verse. I'm like, cool. They said, here at this place, we're a family and we treat each other as such. Where do you stand in religion? Mind you, I'm applying for a coffee shop. 
I said ice cream shop before. A coffee shop. You make coffee. You don't, it's not a church. You make coffee and you check people in to get married. So I'm like, okay, I don't really know where I stand on religion at this point in my life because I'm a teenager. I'm more worried about school. I have grew up a Christian. I grew up in a religious family, but at this point, you know, I'm questioning things as everyone does. Obviously I said a lot more, but that's basically what I said. I was like, I don't really know where I stand because I'm like at a questioning period in my life where I'm questioning a lot of things. Okay. Then she goes, you're probably a culture Christian. You know, I grew up an atheist. I, 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 I was from Ohio. I didn't believe in God. I, 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 I didn't do any of that stuff. But then I came here to North Carolina and I found God. And I was like, great. Can you tell me how to make coffee? Can you tell me about the job? Can you ask me questions about who I am, my strengths and my weaknesses? Not about my religion. She kept going. And then the dude, the husband was like, yes, um, we value God a lot here. And I peek over at the Wi-Fi password and it is the name of the company is the username and the password is Jesus loves you. I'm not, I'm not dogging on religion here. Not at all. I'm dogging on the fact that this is like you preach to me about how this is the place where everybody comes in when they get married, but yet you're like making it very geared towards one specific thing. And it's kind of, I don't know if I was an atheist that walked in here trying to get married and I realized that this is a facility, like a Christian facility. I don't know if I would be weirded out. I've never been in that situation before, but I know it would be like, why is this the main topic of discussion? It was just weird, super freaking weird about why they would ask me that. And I, I just, I gave, I continued to give them my spill. She was like, you're a culture Christian, like trying to manipulate me into believing what I am. I, I don't give a crap. You always grew up being a Christian. I never heard that term before. I don't even know if it's real. It could be real. I, for all I know, I don't, I don't know. I literally felt like a Sunday school sermon. Like they were t preaching to me. I'm trying to get a job. I'm not trying to have study here. I'm, I'm trying to make money. And then it just switches. Back to the topic. We give you your monthly schedule. We like you to stick to it. If you need to call out, which we don't necessarily like you to call out, um, but if you have to, you have to do it a couple weeks in advance. What? What if I fall sick the next morning? And I'm like, I can't come to work today because I'm sick. No, I have to wait. I have to call it two weeks in prior. Ugh. No phones at, 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 at all. E even though there's a Wi-Fi password here, um, that's for the guests. It's not for you. Okay, no phones, whatever. They're like laying me this whole spill. They're smacking it in my face. They start talking about money. Not how much I'm going to be making, but like tax wise. And they start going on about, I'm going to have to do my own taxes, whatever. That's cool. So I'm getting a vibe that they like me. Even though I didn't have the correct answer to their religious question. I'm, it's not that they didn't like me. I'm just starting to get a vibe that they might accept my skill set, maybe. The skills that I told them I had. He pops up and he shows me a couple videos, like tours of the place. That's dope. Really cool. I told them that I can edit. I have pretty good editing skills. And they were like, really? So you could help us with the YouTube channel. I was like, yeah, they could help post stuff on Facebook. I did it for it for my event planning business. I can do it for this. And they're like, dope. So they give me a tour of the facility. So at this point, I'm like, okay, they're giving me a tour. They're telling me that my skills are, are going to be needed here. I've told them the correct answer to everything except the question that didn't matter. I'm in good standing. So the guy's taking me around, giving me a tour of the place. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, I'm soaking it all in. So we get back inside. We sit down the end of the interview i'm about to go home the way that they talked to me i kid you not i had this thing in the bag i was getting this job even though i said this experience was kind of weird i felt like i had it it felt like this was my job to get so i'm like i'm answering their questions still i'm talking like heck yeah this would be super cool and they're like we're excited to see where this goes we'll, we'll text you back in a couple of days and we'll move from there so I'm thinking in a couple of days, I'm getting my schedule and I'm about to pull up to the job. Like I'm starting next week. They didn't tell me that, but they said, we'll, we'll move from there. Three days later, I'm waiting for a text back. There's no text back. There's nothing. There's no text back. And I'm like, okay, either they forgot about me or they're really, they're really trying their best to put me in the schedule. On the fourth day, I get a text from them. We found somebody else. It's more fit with a better skill set, more experience. We thank you for your time. The interview, we enjoyed our interview with you. Thank you. I respond. Thank you for your time. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. You came in an hour before the work was supposed to start. Thank you. I was crushed. Not because I didn't get the job, but because of how they led me on to think I got the job. That's what got me. That's what made me mad. And in the back of my
my head, they pressed me on religion the whole time. They were like manipulating me on religion while I was thinking I was getting the job. It's such a stupid story. It just made me mad because I was like, dude, you, you gave me a tour of the place. You told me about the pay that I was going to be getting. You told me about the job itself, like the family dynamic. You told me everything. When I went to a movie theater and got a job interview, I was asked my strengths, my weaknesses, who I was in a person and things I do to go out of my way for customer service and my favorite movie. Here, they like lathered me on thick. I was like, I got this. This is my job to get. And there's no way I don't get it. At the end of the day, I didn't get the job. So it taught me something. Here's the thing that it taught me. It taught me don't believe everything that your brain tells you to believe. My gut wasn't telling me I got the job. My head was so stretched. My ego was large because I just, I knew I had it. God, I answered every question to perfection. And I even did not, I was like skipping over the religion question at the time. And I, I did it in a professional manner. I didn't get the job. So to all those people going out there to job interviews, if they bring up anything that's just weird or iffy or things that's very opinionated, don't even try. Because I'm glad I didn't get that job. Because I got a great job now. And I'm thankful to have the job that I have. And I'm thankful to not be there. Thank you. Woo!